boys 110 100 meet 110 meters hurdles sub junior stop right there hold on as if there wasn't enough tension as if yeah, it's difficult it's really difficult to have these boys just there you know waiting around they get fidgety they get jittery they want to go the naked eye showed that everyone got up and out in time let's see what the replay will confirm or deny looks clean looks clean there goes mr clipboard and green card don't know his name but i'll get to find his name for you he's a, a dangerous man with a, a blue shoe a clipboard and a green card athletes don't like to be down too long on this don't like to be held too long on this asking for silence or some measure of quiet let's see if they get them away this time quickly the athletes are in the blocks Francis has the gun and he has sent them on their way first over the hurdle this looks like a close one between philip of pbc and paisiri philip of pbc is out in front he's clearing these hurdles but here comes uh, james of gbss but pbc is gone in this one that's uh, anthony philip anthony philip is gone gbss is going to come second this looks like james and uh, third can't say just yet but uh, the afternoon of the boys 100 meter sub junior hurdles belong to anthony philip of presentation brothers college he cleared the first hurdle first, and there was no looking back. Really good run there by Philip of the Presentation Brothers College. As you rightly said, he got out early, first over the hurdle. And you see the rhythm as he, he went through his paces. The rhythm came in, and he was just easing over these hurdles. Look, look at his, him, just nice rhythm, really good pace to, to, to his jumps. And I'm um, definitely one to look forward to. 17.53, Anthony Phillips of the Presentation Brothers College. And uh, he's followed by second and third in the Grenada Boys Secondary School. Elion James, 17.99. And Anakel Paisley, also of the GBSS, 18.13. But a good run from Anthony Phillips of PBC, 17.53. What's your take, Dikembe? Uh, uh, that was a great run by Anthony Phillips. He even went faster than he went in his heats and running 17.53 maintain his technique right through the way and came away with a victory pretty good well he's got the gold medal the cross section of our students cross section of our patrons and pay attention to this right here pay attention to this a dash of green a dash of red there's some colors in between but some more green so what they're doing they're repping they're representing a sea of blue so they've been sectionized a little natty and thunder get in your section 
you know so and some white some blue some green some red depending on what color t-shirt you're wearing you know where to find your seat or your standing tire that's intercall for you that's intercall the supporters they go all out you have nothing more than one square foot of standing space available to you so use it wisely they're all packed in <laughs> Students filling up these concrete bleachers. I can tell you one thing, they are not feeling the heat from the blistering sun on those bleachers. They wouldn't feel it today. But they're not feeling that. To our friends right around the world, good afternoon. In the beautiful Spice Country Grenada. Athletic Championship, Athletic Supremacy is on the line. We've got a medal presentation. So just before we go down to the medal presentation, Dikembe, let me be the first to say that uh, it's been good. It's been real. We want you to keep on doing this. You, uh, this is your first, um, your first taste of the microphone, and um, you've not disappointed. You've not disappointed us, and I know that you're not disappointed. So, on behalf of everyone, every one of us here, we want to say thank you very much, and keep uh, keeping on, and we will ensure that we give you all the opportunities, and all the wisdom that we've got to make you into one of the best to ever do this. Just to keep doing what you're doing and don't stop. Thanks a lot, Dikembe, and it's been a pleasure problem thank you and um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity and I hope to do this more plenty times to come and I see myself doing this in the future and I want to really thank the TNR communications and Republic Bank as well for this opportunity as well thank you very much absolutely amazing thank you very much my friend let's go downstairs to the medal presentation and then when we come back we've got more fire on the track Boys Octathlon Open, presenting your bronze medalists, Rondel St. Bernard, Grenada Boys Secondary School, 3,933 points, silver medalists, Lennon Williams, Sass, 4,260 points. And your gold medalist, Brian Isaac, representing SAS. 4,633 points. We can move now to Event 66, go 800 meters, Junior. Presenting your bronze medalist, Khadija Nore, Anglican High. Silver medalist, Annie Logie, St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. And your gold medalist, Kalia Olive, McDonald College. Boys, 800 meters senior. Very pleased to announce the silver medalists for boys 800 meters senior. Romel Charles, St. Rose, Modern Secondary.
And we can move now to event 77. We're going to go to event 77, girls high jump sub junior. Bronze medalist Rolanda Charles, SAS. Silver medalist, Sydney Douglas, St. David's Catholic Secondary. And gold medalist, gold medalist, Jania Hazard. Jania Hazard, St. David's Catholic Secondary, 1.35 meters. Let's go now to boys, 800 meters junior. Presenting your bronze medalist, Keith Charles, Grenada Christian Academy. Silver medalist, Jalon St. Louis, Grenada Boys Secondary. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting now your gold medalist, Adriel Mitchell, PBC. A time of a time of two minutes zero one point five four seconds. This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you very much. Mr. Marky Griffith, Manager Retail Services at Republic House. Thank you very much, Kenroy. We get set to head back to the track. We get set to head back to the track. Thank you so much, Russell. Very, very important announcement. There is a prolonged bottle fight in the bleachers area. We're asking the students there to refrain from this sort of engagement. That bottle fight that has been going on for some time, please refrain from such engagement. Thank you. This is a call for Tyrell Moses, Happy Hill Secondary. Tyrell Moses, Happy Hill Secondary. Please report to the Athletes Village immediately. It's now 4.18 in Grenada and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, the third and final day of the Republic Bank Intercol Championships 2024. Thank you to our title sponsor, Republic Bank. Thanks as well to Ministry of Youth and Sports. Of course, their support in conjunction with the title sponsor. We acknowledge here and now our platinum sponsor, the Citizenship by Investment Program right here in Grenada. 
We have a number of sponsors to acknowledge. Flow, Carry Brewery, Grenada Limited, Grenada Bottling Company Limited, and uh, George of Huggins and Company, Grenada Limited. A big thank you to Glenel Natural Spring Water, the official bottled water today. Thank you as well to our list of bronze sponsors, Real Value IGA Supermarket, Hills and Valley Pharmacy, Bryden and Miners Limited, and Blue Bubbles. And of course, we cannot forget to thank a number of uh, contributors. We're talking here, Rubis West Indies, Mitchell's Health and Wellness Pharmacy, and Grenada Cooperative Nutmeg Association. Thank you all for your tremendous support. So I'll head things upstairs to my colleagues, Rosa John, Roland and Twine, Basil Khalees, Sylvan McIntyre, the rest of the team on the top floor. So thank you very much, Kenroy. We get set. To head back to the track for event number 68. Ladies and gentlemen, event number 68. The girls, 100 meter dash junior final. The game record for this event, 11.70 seconds. Set in 2014 by Melanie Rodney. Introducing your field for this event. Running out of lane number one from the Waggy T, St. David Catholic Secondary, Talia Desant. Out of lane number two, from the Classic Lighting, Happy Hill Secondary, Makeda Joseph. Out of lane number three, she's your silver medalist in the 200 meter, from Classic Lighting, Boca Secondary, Amaya Chandler. Out of lane number four, She's your gold medalist in the 200 meter and 400 meter event from the GTC Anglican High, Egypt, Regis, Benjamin. Running out of lane number five, she is your bronze medalist in the 200 meter from Wagi T, St. David Catholic Secondary, Kayla Christopher. Running out of lane number six from the St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's, Brandy Taylor. Out of lane number seven, from the Jean Joseph's Covenant, St. George's, Kayla McIntyre. And running out of lane number eight, from the GTC, Bishop's College, Dejeuner Brown. This is your field for the junior girls 100 meter dash final. The Junior Girls 100 Meter Finals 11.70 established in 2017 by Melanie Rodney. Is that record under threat here? Anyone you, any one of you believe that? N not in this event. Not today. Not this week. Yeah, I, looking at the qualification times, it doesn't hint to you that the record is under threat. It will take uh, some running in this final 
if that is going to happen. Well, it's a big day, and big days produces big-time athletes because they show up. So, look out for Egypt Regis. She's in four. Kayla Christopher is in five. Maya Chandler is in three. Brandy Taylor is in six. Jenny Brown is an eight. Kayla McIntyre, seven. Some pretty decent names in this one. Thalia DeSant is in one. And uh, Michaela Joseph is in two. That's the start of the girls' 100 meter junior dash. Still even Stephen early to call. It's still tight up at the front. Anglican High School and Boca. Now Anglican High School. That's uh, Egypt Regis. Egypt Regis just edging past the line and knocking out Amaya Chandler of Boca Secondary School. Egypt Regis. It was tight all the way down between Chandler, Regis and Christopher. And then Regis started the separation with about 50, 60 meters to go. She was just going straight non-stop. This is what you want in a final, a junior finals. Egypt Regis knew when to turn on the afterburners to get past Amaya Chandler. And she did just what she had to do. Really good run. Chandler there. And um, you had Christopher right there too, side by side. But she was number one. The attitude made the difference in this one with, with, with Egypt. You, you could see the determination on her face. She wanted to get that 100 meters title. And she did. No, she never let up. They were tight from the beginning, coming down one, two, three. A good 50 meter run with everybody at a level playing field. A ruler drew a straight line across the front, and then Regis started to separate herself with about 40 meters to go. The story was written Egypt Regis, Anglican High School, 12.38, the champion of the girls' 100 meters junior dash. Interesting enough. This makes her a triple gold medalist in these games. One. Late assignments. There we go. Let's go. If you thought the girls was hot, we've got the junior boys. Junior boys, 100 meters. Final. You've got to calm down to take in this one. Junior boys, 100 meter dash final. The record in this event stands at 10.5 seconds. Set back in 2007 by Kirani James himself. Introducing the field. Introducing the field. The athletes are going through their warm ups. We've got to get the muscles going. We've got to release the tension. Then they've got to yeah. perform. No one can convince me that this race has to be the tightest, most even, most balanced race not just in this division, but in all of Intercall 2024 20, from 100 meters. Running on a lane Let's number go one. for the lane assignments. Lane number one. Silver in the 200 meters. He's now back in the 100. Representing the Presentation Brothers College. Kanik Nixon. Lane number two. You saw them win their first goal in the short put sub junior boys. This is the junior boys 100. St. George's Institute. Toba Abe. Lane number three. Lane number three. The 100 meter champion in the sub junior division last year. He's now with the big boys, juniors. Representing the Nawasa Sass. St. Andrews Anglican Secondary. 
Tell one. John. Lane number four. Lane number four. Champion in the 200 meters. Here he is. He wants the 100 meter title. Representing the Grenada Boys Secondary. Cameron Mathlin. Lane number five. Lane number five. Representing the Grenada Boys Secondary. They won the title. He wants the gold. Lane number five. Josh Thomas. Lane number six. Representing the St. Rose Modern Secondary. Can we see an upset? Lane number six. Jaden Knight. Lane number seven. Another one representing the St. Rose Modern Secondary. They've got two in this final. What can they do? St. Rose Modern. Izion Fraser. And lane number eight. Lane number eight. Bronze in the 200 meters. Last year's sub junior champion at the Intercall Games. Here he is in the 100 meter final. Now, what's the sass? St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary. Christoph Kalis. That's your start list for the junior boys. Canic Nixon. Final. Oluna Washington Toba. Delron John. Cameron Mathlin. Josh Thomas. Jaden Knight. Aizion Fraser. Christoph Kalist. Intercall 2024. The newly laid tracks. The crowd. The noise, the pandemonium, the energy, it will all be released in under 12 seconds. History is unfolding before our very eyes. The boys, 100 meter junior finals. Ralph Lord has the gun. He let it off and they are gone. Even Steven, a line drawn across in the boys 100. But GBSS is coming forward. This looks like Mathlin. Mathlin for GBSS crosses the line. He is elated. He has blistered the field. There's nothing but fire in his trails. The 100 meter champions at junior. There he is. Cameron Mathlin, the Grenada Boys Secondary School. That's a bad man. That's under 10. This has to be not on the 10, on the 11 seconds. This is awesome. This this is really epic. Now look at his game face. He has his game face on. There, there was nothing stopping this young man. He was in that zone. You could have seen it. He wanted it. He got it. And the response. There we go. Just look at him. Searching ahead. Looking to just ensure that he gets himself forward. He had the challenge. But he dismisses it. Well, well, I gotta see the time. Well, in. well, what is missing now is the clock. The clock needs to register. From the naked eye, I saw Mathlin, then John, then Knight, Knight, then Nixon. Nixon. <laughs> From the naked eye. But the blocks are electronic. The timer, that is electronic. The scoreboard, electronic. We will know now. What you are seeing is what we are seeing. The times have not posted as yet. They've not even adjusted the lane assignments. But boy, that was a blistering run. It was the most evenly contested run at Intercall 2024, over 100 meters and maybe over every distance, the boys' 100 meter junior finals. 
the joy you saw from Cameron Mathlin came because emotionally he knew he had Delron John right where he wanted him. That's revenge. He knew he had Josh Thomas in a bind. He knew Canik Nixon was on the outside in lane one. Absolutely nothing he took for granted. Look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the placement. 11.18. Cameron Maslin. Delron John. Sass. 11.36. Kanik Nixon, PBC, third, 11.44. Jaden Knight, St. Rose Modern Secondary. Everybody went under 11 from top to bottom. History before our very eyes. Everybody under 12. Really awesome final. You couldn't ask for a better final. Everyone under 12, but significantly under 11.70. This is awesome running. This is a good field. All right. Well, we've got to take a breath. We need to come up for air. We need to come up for air. We can't do this for much longer. There needs to be a respite. Bernard? Sheer determination uh, on Mathlin's path here. Sheer determination on Mathlin's path. What's really interesting in this young man here is after the 200 meters... When he made some showboating, I think he was spoken to. Everything changed after that. sherry Ann Noel is down on the field. She's got some details from the short put. Boy, do we need those details now, sherry Ann. <laughs> Give it to us, please. Yes, so far, the top four in the short put juniors, we have, it is led by the athlete out of the St. David's Catholic Secondary School with a distance of 10.2 meters. That's Naomi Augustine. Uh, followed by Egypt Regis Benjamin of the Anglican High School, 10.16. Keisha Matring of Bishop's College, 9.81. And Ariana Bristol of the Hillsborough Secondary School, 9.76. That's the top four going through in the short for juniors. There are others, but those are the commendable distances thus far. So they're literally going through. I think this is the final round. Oh, they're, they're actually at round four. All so that's right. the update for us from the short for juniors. All right. Thank you very much, sherry -Ann. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sherry -Ann. Boy. Boy. I thought the update from sherry -Ann was going to help. But boy, are we still up on cloud nine plus one. Everybody going under 12. The surprise for me is Canik Nixon in three, Canik Nixon coming in third, and Jaden Knight coming in fourth. Jaden Knight has had a rough start to his intercall games, but he bounced back and he was right there. Not much separation between third and fourth. 11.44 for Canik Nixon, 11.47 for Jaden Knight. That's a brilliant run from Jaden Knight. He came back superbly, but the day belonged to Cameron Mathlin because he got the jump on the real Mr. Showboat, you would call it, Delron John. But that was a good run from John too. Everybody was absolutely phenomenal in this one. Absolutely. Look at positions number five, six, seven, and eight. That's a story right there. We can put this up on the screen for you. Our viewers need to see this. Look at this. That's a very good point, Bernard. Uh, Olawashinio Toba, St. George's Institute. Look at this. 11.63. Josh Thomas, GBSS, 11.64. Christoph Kelly, Sass, 11.64. The torso celebrating five. There, let me tell you something. I told you from the start it was going to be the most evenly contested race. I need to lend somebody my crystal ball. Yeah, really, really good run. I mean, it's definitely nothing. And Mathlin has redeemed himself big time. He won the 200 meters come back and you win brag all bragging rights as the best young sprinter, the junior sprinter both one and 200 nothing can take that away from him well 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 start put on your screen
That was not going to Yomi Augustin. Jada Terrell. Jada Terrell of Sass in the junior girl short put. She was very close to the minimal distance. Let's see what the distance is. Jada Terrell. Let's go down for the lane assignments. The girls 200 meters senior. Zanya Belfon running out of lane number two. She's the 100 meter gold medalist. From the classic lighting, Happy Hill Secondary, Talia Sampson running out of lane number three. She's the 400 meter bronze medalist. From the classic lighting, McDonald College, Francesca Henry running out of lane number four. She's the gold medalist in the 400 and 800 meter from the GTC Anglican High School. Shafonia Houston, running out of lane number five. She is the 100 meter silver medalist from the Waggy T St. David Catholic Secondary. Rihanna Frederick, running out of lane number six from the classic lighting Happy Hill Secondary. 25.7 to make it to the finals. Elena Dicotto. And running out of lane number eight, 26.48 seconds to qualify for the finals. From the St. John's Christian Secondary, Keonti Williams. This is your field for the senior girls, 200 meter dash final. Two hundred meters senior girls. It's a full all eight lanes are occupied. Full suite. Uh, lane seventh. It's a no show. And there they go, 200 meters, senior girls. And uh, let's see, it's Houston making up the stagger very early. She comes around the curve. And there she goes, she's out front. There's no catching her right now. It's going to take a lot. And there goes Houston. It's powering her way through. It is Shafonia Houston, Anglican High School. Sheer determination. You can see it. She was just ready. She was ready. She was prepared. Look at her strut. She knows that she's the champion. The attitude in this one is simple. The beating of her chest. Knowing that this one meant so much to her. I tell you why. She's not full 100, but here she came off the track. She came off the start immediately. Called the St. Davis Catholic Secondary School in the person of... Uh, um, uh, no, McDonald College and Francesca Henry. She caught her early, and then by the time she got to the top of the track with just about 80 meters to go, Shafonia Houston knew it was all over, but she didn't let up. She eyeing the record. She was eyeing the record, and this one, surely, she knew that there was something special in it. Shafonia Houston, that's an awesome run, and she deserved all the gold in this one. Twenty-four point five four seconds. 
She's off the record. She's not going to get it. The Janelle Redhead record still stands from 2007, 23 flat. What a good run by Shafonia Houston of the Anglican High School, 24.54. Coming in second, Rihanna Fedrick of St. David's Catholic Secondary, 25.50. And Francesca Henry of McDonald College in 25.60. A pretty decent 1-2-3 right here in the girls' 200-meter dash senior. Yeah, really good running. Look at, let's look at the replay here. She was off the block in a hurry. And she went down, no threat, no one there to compete with her. She was just a distance ahead of the rest of the field and making it very determined run there. Uh, yes, the, the race really was for second and third place with McDonald College and St. Davis Catholic Secondary School. Well, we've got the big boys coming up here in this one. Boy, and when we say big boys, we mean the big boys. The 200 meter senior boys is about to explode. I don't think it's going to be as competitive as the boys 100 meters junior. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. But if it is anything close to that, well, boy, somebody needs, we need a freezer inside here. Well, what I can tell you is that I am expecting the same intensity you have Kyle Ned Josh M. Sylvester Ian George Emilio Bishop Randy Jones of the Bishop College these are some big athletes Kevin Martin from the Westmoreland we can't rule him out so definitely Mikhail Redhead he's there also coming there he is in the in the, in the inner lane once he can get a good start and really get ahead of these boys, it could be some pressure. And also Ethan Sam is there, although it's, he's a first-year senior. But he's also there. Times coming in seems to suggest that you have him Sylvester. Josh and Sylvester is the main threat in this one. But we cannot count on Kyle Ned and Bishop. Well, Ian George had a time of 21.89 to qualify. And he has run consistently well uh, over these two days. You saw his exploits in the 100 meters. Go Lean down. assignments. The Grenada Boys secondary. Emilio Blanco Bishop. Lane number three. Representing the Nawasa Sass. Your 100 meter hurdles champion, St. Andrews Anglican Secondary, Kyle Ned. Lane number four. You saw him take gold in the 400 meters. Here he is for the 200. Representing the Nawasa Sass, St. Andrews Anglican Secondary, Joshem Sylvester. Lane number five. Shaper Stunners, bronze in the 100 meters. He's back in the two. St. John's Christian Secondary, Ian George. Lane number six. Lane number six. Silver medal at the Carifta Games in the under 17 last year. Silver in the 100 meters at Intercall this year. Here he is in the 200. Grenada Boys Secondary. Ethan Sam. Lane number seven. From the Sister Isle. 22.27 in the preliminaries. Representing the GTC. Bishops College. Randy Jones. Running on lane number eight. You saw him at last year's 100 meter final. Here he is this year for the 200, 22.42 in preliminaries. Westmoreland secondary, Kevin Martin. That's your start list for the 200 meter dash, senior boys. Well, there you have it. That's the start list. Now, hear what makes this start list interesting. Let's go from top to bottom, really. St. David's Catholic Secondary, Mikel Redhead. He is no slouch. He is no slow. He is no snail. This guy has got some fire attached to him. 
22.39 he did to qualify coming into this one. The 100-meter champion, Emilio Bishop. Kyle Ned, he's the 100-meter hurdle champion. Joshim Sylvester, the 400-meter champion. Ian George, he came second in that, in, in the 100, third in the 100-meter. Ethan Sam, second in the 100-meter. Hey, let me tell you something. If you're looking for a star-studded cast, somebody called Steven Spielberg, this has got to be a movie. The boys' 200-meter dash. I don't know how you guys can sit for something like this. I am not even going to try. Somebody can have my chair. A lot of firepower. We've just moved the NASA space station from Washington to the National Stadium. It has been relocated. Um, the NASA space station has been relocated to the National Stadium, the Kirani James Athletic Stadium in Grenada. Rockets are about to explode. Take off. There's a hush. Silence. Probably the most silent it has ever been for the afternoon. And uh, the tension. The release. They're holding them still. As if the tension wasn't enough. The adrenaline is flowing. As if it wasn't oh. tangible enough. And lean seven. Seven. Randy Jones the officials are deliberating. appears to be the culprit. I think I think it's more of a faulty start. Uh, and just might be. Yeah, you saw the, the, the starter, his hands went down just boys, at the point when you expected the gun to go off. At the far end of the field. It's a faulty start. Redhead, a Blanco shoot. Bishop, Robert Ned, David, Sylvester, Second George, Sam, Jones, Martin, and Adrian Francis with the gun. The boys, 200 meter dash senior. He didn't hold them very long. He gave them exactly what they needed, a quick release. Still even Steven coming around the track. But look at Ethan Sam out in lane six. Look at Ethan Sam out in lane six. Look at Ethan Sam out in lane six. Look in the middle, Joshim Sylvester is in lane four. Joshim Sylvester is in lane four. Joshim Sylvester is in lane four. Joshim Sylvester is gone! Mr. Joshim Sylvester! Wow. Wow. What a final run. What a final run. Even Steven at the start, nobody, you, you can't tell from about 50 meters in, there was still even Steven. Look but at it again. Let's break it down for you. Even coming around here, 150 meters to go, it was still an even keel. And then as they came off the curb, Ethan Sam asserted himself. He needed more strength in his legs. He needed more power. But the strides of Joshim Sylvester, he, Joshim Sylvester eluded Emilio Blanco Bishop. And with about 10 meters to go, he looked back and said, Guys, where are you? This is my Ferrari. Hold on to your Corolla. Look at it. Let's look at it. Just look here. This is what you call championship running. That's a lot of daylight between Sam and Sylvester. A lot of daylight between Sam and Sylvester. And then we moved from day to night. And a new day dawned by the time he got to the finish line. 21.57. Somebody break out the gold medal. It belongs to Joshim Sylvester. And that's a good timing for this one. 21.57. 21.69 for Sam. And look at the third place. Look at the third place finisher. 21.82. George has been running pretty well over these last, these last two days. 
there was a worry for Sass though in Kainera. About 20 meters to the end, he would have pulled up. And that is a major concern for the 4x4 four four relay for Sass. Let's hope the young man have a quick turnaround in this year. But he did not finish the 200 meters. Kainet. Uh, what a race. So it's Sylvester, one. Number two, Sam, George, Bishop, Kevin Martin, 22.34. Did very well com compared to where he came in at. 22.34. Randy Jones and Redhead from the St. Davis Catholic Secondary School. And let's hope the best for the young man, Carnet. We have the results of the short put. Sherry Ann Noel has got some results for us. Let me tell you something, Sherry Ann. I am so happy that you're down there and you're not inside here because, boy, things are flying left, right, and center. We can't even find a piece of paper in this joint. Sherry Ann, talk to me. Okay, so we say congratulations to Naomi Agostino of the St. Davis Catholic Secondary School. She won the gold in the short put juniors, a distance of 11.19 meters. Second was Carissa Felix of Boca with 10.90 meters. And third went to Dejane Bristol of the Hillsborough Secondary School, 10.67 meters. So that's the results of the short put juniors. A little later on, we'll tell you what's happening with the Senior boys, short put. Ah, javelin, sorry. Thank you very much, Sherry Ann. Results of the short put. And congratulations. You've got the details. Talk to us, Clyde. Yeah, Augustine of the St. David Catholic Secondary School with a winning throw of 11.91. Medal go. presentation. Silver medalist, Let's go. Allian James, also representing the Grenada Boys Secondary. 17.99 seconds. And your gold medalist, Anthony Phillip, Presentation Brothers College. A time of 17.53 seconds. We fast forward to event 78, girls triple jump open. Bronze medalist, Treasure Edwards, St. Joseph's Convent, Grenville. Silver medalist, Tiana Bridgman, Sass. And your gold medalist, Christiana Charles, also representing SAS. Event 68. We back up to event 68, girls, 100 meter dash, junior. Presenting your bronze medalist, Kayla Christopher, St. David's Catholic Secondary, 12.64 seconds. Silver medalist, Amaya Chandler, Boca Secondary, 12.46 seconds. And your gold medalist, Egypt Regis, Anglican High. A time of 12.38 seconds. Event 69, boys, 100 meter dash, junior. Presenting your bronze medalist, Canik Nixon, Presentation Brothers College. 11.44 seconds. Silver medalist, Delron John, Sass, 11.36 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your gold medalist, Cameron Mathlin, 
the Grenada Boys Secondary School. 11.18 seconds. This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you very much, Senator, the Honorable Quinns Britton, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Culture, Tourism, and the Creative Economy. So. So after some fireworks in the 100 meters junior boys and girls and the 200 meters senior boys and girls, the next event on the track will in fact be the 400 meters, but not just yet. So we're going to take you down to the house announcer for the an update on the point standing. It's getting close, John. Yeah, it certainly is. Don't want to miss anything. Ladies and gentlemen, the updated point standing. The female division. Still tied for fourth place. St. Joseph's Convent and Boca Secondary. 69.8 points. And now your top three schools in the girls division. In third place. 93.5 points, the Nawasasas. In second position, with 139.8 points, GTC, the Anglican High School. And out front in the girls' division, Wagiti St. David's Catholic Secondary School. 192.5 points. And now for the boys division. Ladies and gentlemen, your top five in the male division. Position number five. On 68 points, Classic Lighting, McDonald College. Position number four, 82 points, Wagiti, St. David Catholic Secondary. 
Position number three, 84.5 points. The presentation, Brothers College. Ladies and gentlemen, your top two schools are separated by 1.5 points. In second position, 195 points. The Grenada Boys Secondary School, which means leading your male division, 196.5 points. Now, Wassa, Sass, the St. Andrews Anglican Secondary. So there you had it. Now, Wassa, Sass, and uh, Chico GBSS, they are gunning it out for the boys' title. St. Davis Catholic Secondary School is a distance ahead from the, the Anglican High School, 192 to 139. But the boys, this is where the action is. 196.5, Nawasa Sass, 195. Najiko GBSS. It's heating up. It's heating up. It's gonna go down to the wire. So we're going to go to the house announcer for the lineup for the girls 400 meter. So they're on their mark, they're all set. It's a 400 meters sub junior girls. St. Joseph's Convent, St. George, and Philip, she's in lane one. Benjamin, SGI, in lane two. Stanislaus, St. Joseph's Convent, St. Andrew, in lane three. Boca is in lane four. And the odds and favorite in this one here, Annalisa Brown, in lane five is St. Davis Catholic Secondary School, represented by Bascom. And in lane six, Bishop's College's St. Bernard. 
the girls sub junior 400 meters feel it's gotten a green card Let everyone know that they are the p's and the q's and another attempt to have this runoff they're on the status orders There they go, 400 meter, sub-junior girls. Let's see who makes the breakaway first. Seems to be Bishop's College, Monticia St. Bernard. She's ahead and she's moving. Shauna Bascom is there. Brung is there as they head to the 200 meter mark. Let's see who would make that move. It is. Brown, Brown looking comfortable, striding well. It is Annalisa Brown of the Boca Secondary. Challenge comes, but it's Brown. She is leaving this field. Brown is gone. There she goes, pushing. She knows she has it in the bag. There's no one really close to her, and she is motoring along. Annalisa Brown your 400 meter champion and she made it look quite easy in fact um very little challenge after after i would say uh 200 meters very very little challenge uh, she was running against the clock in this one towards the end yeah early she made up the stagger very early right on the heels there of bascom Really easy run. She just looks so smooth. That's Annalisa Brown of Boca. She is having a fantastic games. Yeah, this 2024 Intercall Games will remember this name, Annalisa Brown. Certainly must be the front runners, sub junior girls. By a long way. She's been really, really outstanding. It's fifty-eight point three nine seconds for Brown. Fifty-eight point three nine seconds. Now it's the turn of the boys. Really good run from her again. Second position is Bishop's College, Monticia St. Bernard, and St. Joseph's Convent St. George, Ariana James. 63.02 seconds. The third position, and fourth position was Maya Stanislaus. Maya Stanislaus for St. John, St. Joseph's Convent St. Andrew she was in fourth position. We are getting ready for the start of the 400 meters sub junior boys. Let's go to trackside. If you're supporting the happy secondary, they're in this one. If you're looking for more from the Gateway Christian Academy secondary, they're in this one. If you're supporting the Nawasa Sass, they're in this one. They've got two in this one. Lena Simons, event number 73. Sub Junior Boys, 400 meter dash. The record in this event stands at 51.64 seconds. Lena number one. Just outside of the medals in the 100, just outside in the 200. Here he is for the 400 meters. Grenada SBA Comprehensive, Keon George. 
Lane number two. He look, looking for a medal representing the classic lighting McDonald College. Morick Ruben. Lane number three. Gold in the 200 meters representing the classic lighting Boca Secondary. Giovanni Green. Lane number four. Looking for something more. Representing the Nawasa Sass. St. Andrews Anglican Secondary. Delron Dumont. Lane number five. Your gold medalist in the 100 meters. Representing the Gateway Christian Academy Secondary. Nathaniel Alfred. Lane number six. Nawasa Sass. St. Andrews Anglican Secondary. Peter Rennie. And lane number eight, from the classic lighting Happy Hill Secondary, Raylani Bascom. That's your start list for the 400 meter dash sub junior boys. Well, look at that. That's an awesome image. Hold it right there. I'll tell you why, what, what makes this image so magnificent. You get a beautiful sight of the track. Then what you're seeing just ahead of that are our students from across the secondary schools in Grenada, Carioku, and Pitti Martinique. Directly behind that, a massive cruise ship in port. We are not here alone. Visitors are witnessing greatness on a different level. When you take that and you put that with sun, sunshine, trees, the ambience, the greenery, and the talent of youth. What you get is the picturesque view of Intercall 2024 and everything it represents that speaks to Grenada. The 400 meter sub-junior boys Keon George, Malrick Rubin, Giovanni Green, that's the danger man, look for him. Delmont Dumont, equally as dangerous. Nathaniel Alfred, well this is danger on a different level. Kedel Rennie, Sass. Relaine Bascom, Happy Hill Secondary School. No show for Ethan Edwards of St. David's Catholic Secondary. He should have been in seven, but he's not there. Bascom right in front of you in lane eight. In the distance behind him, Kidel Rennie. Look, Nathaniel Alfred is in five. Delron Dumont of Sass. Giovanni Green of Boca. Ruben in two. And Keon George in one. The 400 meter sub junior boys have been released. The record 51.64 held by Javon Charles since 2016. Is it under threat? We don't know. But if anybody has anything to say about it, it's Giovanni Green. If anybody has anything to say about it, it could very well be Delron Dumont. Pretty much even, but here we come around the bend now at the top of 200. And out in front, this looks like Dumont. Delron Dumont is up in front. He could be locking up. He's pumping, he's pushing already. But on his right, on his left-hand side, is Giovanni Green. Green comes off the curb first. Green comes off the curb first. They're fighting, fighting to lift their legs. Every ounce of energy has been expended here. And guess what happens? Giovanni Green, Boca Secondary School. The folks from the Northeast take a bow because Giovanni Green has just delivered the gold medal in the 400 meter sub junior boys. Sheer determination, sheer determination. And that is a competitive race 53.65 for Giovanni Green. He wanted this and he wanted this badly. And he is your 400 meters champion. They took nothing for granted. Clearly in this one, everybody was afraid of everybody. 
everybody was afraid of everybody and nobody took anything for chance they all came out blistering as if it was a 200 leaving everything on the track that's what happened here everything was left out on these synthetic rubbers and boy do they have the tenacity to prove that you train all year for one minute of speed and 12 months of glory to follow exactly so you can see it you can see the shed determination these boys they did just what was necessary for a championship race and yes. there we have it st andrews anglican I, I didn't see that one but kidel rennie somehow got in side of nathaniel alfred yeah, he pipped him right on the line. Uh, he was spent, Alfred was. 53.65. That's what they gave us. It was never a threat for the 2016 record of 51.64 by Jevon Charles. That record will hold until 2025 or maybe even later. But kudos to Giovanni Green of Boca Secondary School. He's been here before. He knows of a day like this. And boy, did he take everything out and left it on the track. 53.65. Dilron Dumont of Sass. He gave everything on the kitchen sink for 54.44. And Kidel Rennie, who never let up, who ran all the way to the end, 55.99. The, silver, the bronze medal for Sass, just edging out Nathaniel Alfred. 56.10 yes when when you can come take off almost three seconds in the finals you know you would have put everything on the line green came into these finals with with a time of 56.11 and finished with 53.65 that's some running yeah it really is it tells you that these boys really give all effort in this 400 meter it's not an easy event uh, uh, you could have seen it. They, they, they went out hard and they just had to, to keep their form and really allow the momentum from the, the, the curve to really bring them home because they were locking up. They were, the legs were tired, but somehow Green had that extra energy just to leave the rest of the field. Can spare, I spare a thought for Bascom from Happy Hill Secondary School, 59.46. Bascom is a lad that had some issues in his heat, and he was so determined, so determined, made the finals, and reduced his time that he came in with 61.25 seconds. The young man would have done quite well. Giovanni Green, 53.64 gold for Boca. Boca is on a different level remember when we came in at the start of this games two days ago we said one of the dark horses to watch in terms of schools in both categories boys and girls would have been the Boca secondary school they have been idling down in the bottom for over a decade and then last year we saw their cream starting to rise to the top this year they've come a little higher up in points in performances and guess what on the table Boca secondary school they have done pretty well. Give them their flowers. Take a note of that name, Giovanni Green. You're going to hear it and again and again. Here's what we've got coming up for you. This is the opportunity that I would recommend that if you, well, you not if you do have a bottle of water in front of you, take a sip because you'll need it. We've got the girls. We've got the 3,000 meters open coming up we've also got the 5,000 meters boys coming up so the 3,000 girls and the 5,000 boys coming up the girls 100 meter special education open the boys 100 meter special ed open the women 100 meters Republic Bank staff open the men 100 meter Republic Bank staff open and then in my best dramatic voice for a movie and then 
the four by 100 meter sub junior girls the four by 100 meter sub junior boys the four by 400 meters girls the four by 400 meter boys and by the time we get to the end of the four by four boys all your questions will be answered Twenty twenty four Intercor Games, the Republic Bank twenty twenty four Intercor Games. If you missed this, you will be kicking yourselves. seeing the athletes for the 100 meter special ed girls they're not numbered our start list has eight of them or seven of them actually our start list has seven of them but three on the monitor they're not numbered so we can't we don't know who they are but what we can tell you is that this is one of the biggest stages for these children and they deserve their time in the spotlight. I quite agree with you, Jason. They, they are all children and we want to make sure that they feel part of the events of life, as we would put it. An intercall is no different. They are all athletes. All right. They've given us something to work with. Connie Smart. She's in lane three. Shawnee Richardson is in lane. Seeing lane four. That's not lane four. And uh, Markela Patterson is on the outside. But there's somebody where that athlete way on the outside is wearing lane four. So we're still at sea. At least we're in a canoe. We don't have a paddle, but we've got a canoe. No compass, but a canoe. And the athlete that had the number four tag is blistering down the track. It's a close one. It's a close one. Well, it's Richardson and Patterson, one and two. From what they've listed, it's Richardson and Patterson, one and two, or Patterson and Richards. Smart was on the most inner lane in three, so she came third. We've identified that, but one and two is uh, between Richardson and Patterson, or Patterson and Richardson. So it seems to be Patterson. Which one is Patterson? Patterson is the one in the middle of your field. She should have been in lane six. Okay. And Richardson had lane four. Mm. So... They had their mix up there, but definitely Patterson is your champion. <laughs> Not going to see anything on it until I see it come up on the screen. Fifteen point one, no, thirteen point one four. That's Richardson, Patterson. Second, 13.25, and Smart, third, 15.15. Well, seeing that you have done so well, my friend, 
in calling it now we've got a full field of eight without any numbers with nine athletes can I hear you the special ed 100 boys I don't know him he looks dangerous I'm placing my bet on the athlete in lane number five I have confidence in lane number five. Lane number one is calling for the crowd. That's Joseph. Joseph is calling for the crowd. He's a showman, isn't he? And look at the athlete in lane number five's name. I didn't know his name until now. His name has no. His name came up as Jason Mark. Oh, lane five. Jason lane Mark. five. His name came up as Jason Mark. That's the little man right there in the middle with the number five in his hand. That's him. That's what? him. I didn't even know his name until it came up on the monitor a few seconds ago. Well, I'm back in my little partner there. I'm from St. David's. I can tell you, Phil Turn is my little partner from St. David's. I'm back in my St. David's partner. Which one is Filton? Filton Joseph. Filton Joseph. That's the danger man right there. Charles. LeBron John. There was a special ed athlete. Lee number nine. Jaden Emery. There was a special, a, a special ed athlete for a number of years that uh, dominated these tracks, that did Grenada proud for a lot of years. He is past now. He's past now. George Briggs was his name. Do your research. This guy was brilliant. George Briggs ran the one, the two, the four, the eight, Gold and gold and gold. He was from Cooper's Hill, the villa in St. George. Here we go. The start. Well, this is, well, immediately, the athlete in lane four, he's gone. We can't see Jaden. We can't see Jason. This is Kellan Phillip. Kellan Phillip is gone. He's in a different race altogether. Kellan Phillip left everyone looking for him. He oh. was so far ahead. They were using binoculars and couldn't even find him. Oh, I don't know. This young man is in the wrong race. He should be running with the big boys. You believe so? Form. 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 He has technique. and He knows just how to move. Just look at that That's form. That's my point. <laughs> this young man was out the blocks in a flash. Really good form, arms, arm movement. He, he's, he's a natural athlete, man. They were all running between lanes three, four, and five. There was absolutely no... But this is fun. I like this. Oh, yes. I lo no, I love this. Okay. I love this. You know, the athletes from lane three came first and second. The athletes in lane four came second, third, and fourth. The athletes in lane five Came 5th, 6th, and 7th, 8th. And the athlete in lane 8 came ninth. Let's look at the form in this, this young man. He knows what he's doing. He reminds me of George Briggs. I kid you not. 13.08 seconds. He could have, he That's could have, a good time. He could have challenged somebody today. You think he could have challenged Delron John? Well, maybe when he just wake, but he could have he could have done some some damages today. Thirteen point zero eight. This this is beautiful. It's good that they have their minute in the spotlight. They need it. They deserve it, and uh, we've got to love them and cherish them. All the love in the world. 
Look at that, there's stars, stars are born. Just soaking up the attention, and rightfully so too. Well, let's go downstairs for the point standings. We've got the point standings. This is going to be interesting. Let's give you the point standings. Take us for the point standings, Mr. Want Director. The point standings, say yeah, yeah. All in wants it. All in wants it. Still in progress at the northern end, the senior boys javelin, St. David Catholic Secondary up to throw. Ravon Tellisford leading the field in this event. Another big throw from Ravon Tellisford from the Waggety St. David Catholic Secondary. Remember, we are getting ready for Carifta Games 2024 from March 30th, right here at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, the top five positions in the girls' division. In fifth place with 72.8 points, St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. In fourth position, 81.8 points. Classic Lighting Boca Secondary. Thank you very much, Neela. We'll come back to you shortly. We have a presentation for the Special Education Open Races. Ladies and gentlemen, medal presentation. We'll also be presenting some trophies to the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Carla Beckram Singh, General Manager Credits. Republic Bank Grenada Limited. We begin with Girls 100 Meter Dash Special Education Open. Bronze medalists, well actually a trophy is going to be presented to the third finisher, the third place finisher, Cody Smart. Congratulations, Cody. Presenting now the second place winner, Shawnee Richardson. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in position one, Michaela Patterson. Michaela will also receive a bouquet.
Thank you so much. Congrats. Now we move to boys 100 meter dash special education open. Coming in position three, Tyrone Williams. Position two, Jaden Emery. And coming in the top spot, position one, Kellon Phillip. Kellon will also receive a bouquet. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being part of the experience. Now we are going to present medals to all the other participants. Congrats to all of you. So all other participants will receive medals. Ms. Kala Bekram Singh, General Manager Credits, Republic Bank Grenada Limited, remains with us relative to the presentation of medals. Please proceed. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation. Very well indeed. Another round of applause for all the participants in the 100 meter dash special education open. This is the end of this presentation. Thank you so much, Ms. Carla Beckram Singh, General Manager Credit, Republic Bank Grenada Limited.
On your mark. And we are witnessing the start of the 300 meters. We are, we are witnessing the start of the 3,000 meters uh, open girls. 3,000 meters open girls. The game's record is 11 minutes, 31.19 seconds. Uh, this was established in 2016 by Kellyanne Alexander. Let's see if that will be challenged today as we it's a long race so we are going to sit back and look at the exploits of these young ladies 3000 meters open john so right away you have out front the athlete there from the st andrews anglican secondary school and she's closely followed by annalisa brown of the boca secondary 3,000 meters. Try to get the name of that athlete there for you. So that's Abiola John. She's a, a, she's leading the, the, the pack, the front pack, which... basically contains herself and Annalisa Brown. It's a fairly large field. We have 21 athletes listed here in this one. Again, quite refreshing to see the number of participants. We have three almost distinct groupings. The first grouping with Brown and John. And John. And then there is a gap of about 50 meters to the second grouping of four. And then the main grouping follows. You are looking at the girls 3,000 meters open. One that calls for strategy, one that calls for strength, stamina, determination. Annalisa Brown, she has had a very good 2024 intercall games. I must agree with you. She has had a really, really good intercall games. It's been very, very outstanding in almost everything she has done, uh, with the exception of the that one event that she didn't get the gold medal, but everything else she touched has turned to gold. And, and it, it's it's a. Uh it's, it's a whole spread of events from sprints to the longer distances to the middle distances and again at, at, at this age uh, she's a young athlete a young athlete so she's still doing some event sh shopping Let's see where she would land but if she sticks with it this will be a name for the future Annalisa Brown must be making Boca quite proud Let's see if we can give you a count of the, the names of the athletes who are in this field right now. So Brown out front, and you have Keshana Williams of Boca, I'm um, sorry, Bishop's College. She is now in second position. We also had another change in terms of the top three. You know, have... Serena Phillip, Soraya Phillips, sorry, of Boca Secondary. <laughs> so we have Boca, Bishop's College, 
then Boca. Annalisa Brown. Kasuna Williams. And Saraya Phillip. Those are the top three so far. Boca. Bishops College. Boca. Your front runners. So Williams doing really well to stick with the, the leader there in Annalisa Brown. And in fourth position is Abiola John from SAS. So it's Boca Bishop's College. Is it a two USC in your screen there? And then further back is the other athlete from Boca Saraya Philip. And then another ten meters out. I'm Soraya Phillip, the athlete from SAS. Abiola John. So again, they're separating themselves. The front group. Boca Bishops College. It's Brown. Boca. Williams from Bishops College. And then there is a gap. Uh, that has increased uh, by 60, by 60 meters. Then we have Abiola John from SAS. Brown looking pretty comfortable. So too is Williams of Bishop's College. So far, Williams has done a really good job in sticking with Brown. And that's a good strategy. Keep in touch with the front runners. Annalisa Brown from Boca continues to lead this one. The 3,000 meters girls. So they have two more laps remaining. Now the distance between the two front runners and Abiola John is about 80 meters now. And we see the athlete there from. Ellsborough Secondary. Way back, but it continues. So it's Brown, Williams, and Philip, your top three. This the 3,000 meter open run for girls. That is Saraya Phillip in third, third position, some 60, 65 meters out from the, the front runners. Mm -hmm. 
Williams doing really, really outstandingly well, keeping peace with Brown. This is the bell lap. Let's see what happens. It's a good strategy. Let's see what happens. Will Brown make a move, try to leave her? Or will she try to get ahead of Brown? It's about a hundred meters gap that has been opened up. She seems to be picking up the pace somewhat, Annalisa Brown. And Williams following. Williams is following, but Brown, very determined, very strong, very composed. She is just a class above the rest. Annalisa Brown, there she goes, lapping one. And lapping two, three. Oh, and she's on her way to the finish. The spear thought for Williams, who is in second position. As Brown now increases the pace as she gets to the finish. And Lisa Brown. What a fantastic run by Annalisa Brown there. Williams of Bishop College really worked hard. She did all the hard yards. You can definitely say she did all the hard yards. Remained with Brown and a very determined silver medal for Kashana Williams. Williams from Bishop's College, second in this one. And then and the position three, Soraya. Philip, also of the Boca Secondary. And there is Annie Logie completing her run. Annie Logie of the St. Joseph Convent, St. George. And you can just see the, irrespective of the position, the joy of finishing. The joy of finishing, it says a lot. Annalisa Brown, Boca, 11 minutes, 46.42 seconds. 11 minutes, 46.42 seconds. In second position, formerly, Kashana Williams from Bishop's College. 11 minutes, 52.46 seconds. And it's always a joy to see the athletes finishing. There we go. It's important you recognize that you can up your personal best. You you know you can. There is something that you can gain. St. David's, Hillsborough Sack, St. Joseph Convention, George. Not at least from St. David. And then we have Great Christian Academy. Completing her run. Well done, 3,000 meters of girls. That's a boast that you can make a declaration. You've ran and finished the 3,000 meters at the Intercall Game 2024. Mm. So it's Brown, Williams, Soraya Philip from Boca. They are your first three finishers. Annie Logie in fourth position from St. Joseph Convent St. George from the Anglican High School. Finishing fifth position. All these positions we are calling, they carry some points. That, that is Sharina Nelson in the Anglican High School finishing fifth position.
Well, we thought that they were going to start the 5,000, but I'm not quite sure they're going to do that now. We've got a medal presentation, and uh, we might, we, we, we're going to take the medal presentation, of course. But uh, really thought that they were going to take the 3,000. But let's go downstairs for the medal presentation on this one, everybody. Event 64 girls, 100 meter huddle, sub junior. Bronze medalist, Janaya Hazard, St. David's Catholic Secondary. 18.66 seconds. Silver medalist, Janelle Smith, Anglican High. 17.89 seconds. And your gold medalist, Sydney Douglas, St. David's Catholic Secondary, 17.64 seconds. Event 70, girls 200 meters senior, presenting your bronze medalist, Francesca Henry, McDonald College. 25.60 seconds. Silver medalist, Rihanna Frederick, St. David's Catholic Secondary, 25.50 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, your gold medalist, Shafonia Houston, Anglican High. A time of 24.54 seconds. Event 71, boys 200 meters, senior. Presenting your bronze medalist, Ian George. St. John's Christian Secondary, 21.82 seconds. Silver medalist, Ethan Sam. Grenada Boys Secondary, 21.69 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your gold medalist, Joshim Sylvester Stas. 21.57 seconds. Event 73, boys 400 meters sub junior. Presenting your bronze medalist, Kidel Rennie, SAS. 55.90 seconds. Silver medalist, Telron Dumont, SAS. 54.44 seconds. And your gold medalist, Giovanni Green, Boca Secondary, 53.65 seconds. Event 72, girls 400 meters sub junior. Bronze medalist Ariana James, St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's. Four minutes, 59 seconds. One minute, 0 0.59 seconds, correction. Presenting now your silver medalist, Monticia St. Bernard, Bishop's College. One minute, 0 0.1.20 0 seconds. And your gold medalist, Annalisa Brown. Boca Secondary, 58.39 seconds. Event 76, Girls Javelin Throw, presenting your bronze medalist, Simone Batiste, St. David's Catholic Secondary. 
Silver medalist Rihanna Alexander Sass. 37.52 seconds. And your gold medalist Serena Alexander, St. David's Catholic Secondary. 44.49 seconds. Event 80, 80, boys triple jump senior, bronze medalist, Kale Lewis and David's Catholic secondary, 12.72 meters. Silver medalist, Rick Cadet, McDonald College. 13.51 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your gold medalist, Timothy Greenwich. Grenada Boys Secondary, 13.60 meters. Event 81, Girls Short Put Junior, Bronze Medalist, Dujon Bristol, Hillsborough Secondary, 10.67 meters. Silver medalist, Carissa Felix, Boca Secondary, 10.92 meters. And your gold medalist, Naomi Augustine, St. David's Catholic Secondary. 11.19 meters. This is the end of this medal presentation. Thank you so much, Honorable Kate Lewis Peters, Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Northeast. Time check at 6.08 in Grenada and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean. More competition on the track.